Hello Floss Tube and welcome to Calm Creations YouTube channel. My name is Tia and today I've got a uh, tutorial to um, show you and we're going to be making needle minders. So I'm going to flip you around and we'll get started. Okay, so I've got everything set up. So first of all, I'll show you a couple that I've already done. So there's one there that's Pusheen. So what Pusheen was, was just on a packet of uh, pins. And so they're just normal um, pin back pins. And I pulled the back off and um, glued on a magnet. So I'll show you that style. So I've got three different um, styles to show you. This one here is um, an old button from my mum's button jar and I picked out a nice big one and again I just glued a magnet on the back and then I've got another magnet that sticks to it so that's another one uh, to to go through and then I've got these um, plastic buttons that I bought from Spotlight and I thought I'd I quite like that sewing machine in there so I thought I'd make that into a needle minder and then I've just been through some of my collection and there's a whole lot of these flamingo buttons so I'll just be pulling out the back uh, and gluing on a magnet so who doesn't love a flamingo and I mean these are buttons there is a few here there's six of them um, but they're never going to be used on clothing so I'm going to make one into a needle minder. And then you can use anything. These are some cheap ones that I've bought for projects along the way. You could use one of those. Uh, and that's it. So what we'll do is we will start with uh, a flamingo one. And I've got just got my beading tools here. Round nose pliers. Um, these are the ones I'll be using to cut it off I don't know what they're called um, and then these ones as well okay so I'm just gonna start by um, pulling out the back of it I'll probably fast forward through this bit because you don't want to watch Okay, so I got the back off one of the flamingos. So that's that one there. And then this is the little sewing machine one I'm going to do. You can see it's got a shank on the back. Just going to snap, snap these off. Right, so that's that one done, little sewing machine, taking the back off, and then uh, let's do another, another pusheen. Okay. So as you can see, he's got a pin back. So again, I'll be using my cutting tools to try and get him, get it off, get the part of it off, and then you should just be able to slide that piece out. And there's that one done. Okay. So now. I'm just going to, I've got a whole different lot of magnets here. So these were just from, I don't know what they were from, but I'd kept them for something. That was just a sheet 
from the cheap shop and then I've got some other ones from the cheap shop, just some round ones, so uh, I'll be using those. And then I've got E6000 glue, uh, which is really strong industrial glue. And we'll, all we have to do is just glue some magnets on the back. just put a bit of glue on the back of each needle minder mm, that one I'm not too sure I'll have to And just stick your magnet on. Then I'm going to leave those for a good 24 hours to dry. And I will be back to show you them when they're all done. Okay, so I'm back. It's now 24 hours later. Um, as you can see, I've got magnets glued onto the back of all my needle minders. And then all you have to do, so that was the big pusheen one, is get your needle minder and put your magnet on the back. And get your needle. And it's there. So easy. So I'll show you another one. So I've got my little sewing machine. I'm going to pop it on the front where I want it and then the magnet on the back and a needle. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed that quick and easy tutorial and I'll see you back next Friday for another one. Thank you.